Hello, everybody, and welcome. I'm just so excited to have you back here again for another day of preschool at home sing along. So, I am Miss V, for those of you who don't know, or Miss Vanessa, or Vanessa Levin if you're an adult. And when I am not here singing along with your children for preschool at home, I help teachers teach better, save time, and live more over at Pre-K Pages. So today, we are going to be singing one of my very favorites, Hickety Pickety Bumblebee. Can you say that with me? Hickety Pickety Bumblebee. I couldn't hear you. Let's try it again. Hickety Pickety Bumblebee. Isn't that fun to say? This is a really fun song for kids to sing, but parents, it's super educational too. Shh, don't tell them. So, <laughs> I know, right? I'm, I'm sure they know. Okay, if you are just tuning in for the first time, uh, please let us know the name of your child or children in the comments below along with where you're located in the world. We love, love, love to see where, how far our videos, uh, how far these preschool at home sing-alongs have reached. Yesterday we had more than 14 different countries represented here in our preschool at home sing-along class. And I see some of you are already here. Some of our regulars have already come in. They've hung up their backpacks and their coats and they are ready to sing. Let me see who those children are. And I like to call, that's why I ask you adults to do that so I can call out their names. Awesome, Saxon is in the house. And today I have a little surprise for you. Welcome, Saxon. We see you. I can see you all the way out there in Florida. Hi, Saxon. Okay. Let's see. I see somebody else. Her name starts with an M. Her name is Maddie. Hello, Maddie. I can see you all the way out there in Kansas. Wonderful. <laughs> Let's see who else I see that's already here. Oh, look it. I see. <gasps> Who's that? I see Walter. Walter is with us again today. Welcome back, Walter. And his brother, I believe, is Charlie. Welcome back, Charlie. I see that you guys are here and ready to learn. Welcome back. Wonderful. Let's see. All the way from Alberta, Canada. This is one of our friends who's joining us today. Lexi. Welcome, Lexi. Can you see it? I can. It's kind of fuzzy, isn't it? Maybe I sit back a little bit. There we go. Lexi, there she is. <laughs> Sorry about that, guys. It's hard for me to see. Uh, let's see. Scotland is in the house. Woohoo! Add another country to our list. Oh, I know this person. She comes every single day. She's always in class just before we start. Her name is, can you see it? Penelope. Welcome, Penelope. I can see you. Wonderful. Now I'm starting to forget who I did. Did we do Ziva? Ziva, welcome Ziva. I see you. Thank you for coming to class every day, ready to sing and dance with us. And then, Maite. Maite is in the house. Welcome, Maite. Maite has been with us since the very beginning. What a good friend you are. And also, Montserrat. Montserrat's in the house along with Maite. Wonderful, wonderful. Hey, Derek, I remember that you were coming today. It's so nice to see you again, Derek. Derek is joining us again. I can see that you've hung up your backpack and you're ready to learn. Wonderful. Nora, 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 I don't have your card, but hello, Nora. Yay. Okay, 
Let's get started with hickety pickety hickle. <laughs> okay. <laughs> See, it's hard to say, isn't it, friends? Hickety pickety bumblebee. All right. <laughs> if Miss V can't say it, we've got a problem. Okay. So this fun song goes like this. And this song also has some movements. So I'm going to do it first and you can watch me and then you can try it along with me and then we're going to do it a fun way using those name cards I just showed you. Okay. So this involves a little bit of rhythm. So it's clap and then tap your legs, right? So if you're sitting in a chair or on the floor, it's clap, tap, clap, tap, clap, tap. Can you do that? Let's try it together. Ready? Clap, tap, clap, tap, clap, tap. There you go. You got it. Good for you. Okay, let's try it. Hickledy. <laughs> Not hickledy, hickety, hickety. Miss V needs to say it better. Let's try it again. Hickety pickety bumblebee. Won't you say your name for me? Let's choose. <gasps> Sophie. Sophie, say your name. And if you're not Sophie, you can help her. Say Sophie. All right. And now we're going to whisper it. Get your whispering voice ready. Are you ready? Sophie. Whisper Sophie. Now we're going to get our loud voice, but make sure that your loud voice won't disturb anyone else near you. But I'm going to say it a little bit loudly. Sophie! Did you say it with me? Sophie. So we whispered it, we shouted it. Can you clap it? Let's clap Sophie's name. Sophie! How many claps did she have? Two. Can you stomp it? Now you need to use your feet and stomp your feet. Sophie, that was two stomps. Can you spell it? Let's spell Sophie's name. And look, she has this little sunshine there because her, her first letter is S, the same sound that the sun makes. So her name is S-O-P-H-I-E. So we spelled it. Right? So let's try it again. And I'll do it one time all the way through. And we'll just say the name. And then we'll do it with another name card. Are you ready? Clap, tap, clap, tap, clap, tap. Ready? Hickety pickety bumblebee. Won't you say your name for me? Say your name. Can you whisper it? Mabel. Can you shout it? Mabel! Can you clap it? Mabel! Can you stomp it? Mabel! Can you spell it? Let's see. Mabel has the moon there. Whoops, gonna scoot back a little bit because moon and Mabel start with the letter M. M A B E L. Mabel. She spelled it. All right. Are you ready to see who I'm going to choose next? Tap the screen if you want me to, to choose your name next. This time I might, I'm realizing that it's probably a good idea if I turn the camera down when I do these because it's uh, hard for you to see the names when I hold them up. The live and learn. That's okay. Everybody knows that everybody makes mistakes, right? And I am learning. Some of this technology is a little bit new to me. And when we're learning something, it's okay to make mistakes. I'm getting all my name cards ready here. So when I turn the camera around, okay. Are you ready? Remember, we're gonna go clap, tap, clap, tap, clap, tap. Okay, let's see. Can you see that? Let me take that off. Okay, can you see it now? All right. All right, here we go. Get your hands ready. Clap, tap, clap, tap. Hickety pickety bumblebee, won't you say your name for me? Oh, 
let's see. Saxon, can you whisper it? Saxon, can you shout it? Saxon, can you clap it? Saxon, that's two claps. Can you stomp it? Saxon, that's two stomps. Can you spell it? S A X O N. Saxon, we did it! Yay! Okay, let's pick another one. Oh, if you see your name here, well, let me know. In adults, if you're just tuning in and you want me to use your child's name in any future videos, I can't get up and go to the printer right now, but in any future videos, make sure that you respond in the comments with your child's name and where in the world you're located from. I took all of these names from yesterday's broadcast. Okay, let's do it again, ready? Remember, it's clap, tap, clap, tap. So get your hands ready. Clap, tap, clap, tap. Hickety pickety bumblebee, won't you say your name for me? <gasps> Whose name is that? Alex. Let's say it together. Alex. Can you whisper it? Alex. Can you shout it? Alex. Can you clap it? Alex. That's two claps. Now let's stomp it. Alex. Two stomps. Can you spell it? A L E X. And he has an apple because Alex starts with A like the apple. <gasps> Very good. Let's see if anyone else can do it. <laughs> All right, let's try it. Clap, tap, clap, tap, clap, tap. Ready? Hickety pickety bumblebee, won't you say your name for me? <gasps> let's see. Denzel. Denzel, can you say your name? Let's help him. Denzel, can you whisper it? Denzel, can you shout it? Denzel, can you clap it? Denzel, can you stomp it? Denzel, can you spell it? D-E-N-Z-E-L, Denzel. And he has a duck there because Denzel and duck both start with that D sound, right? Awesome. All right, let's pick another one. Are you ready, friends? Tap, clap, tap, clap, tap, clap, tap, clap. Are you ready? Hickety pickety bumblebee, won't you say your name for me? Let's see who it's going to be. Oh my goodness. Let's see. Isabel. Let's say it together. Isabel, can you whisper it? Isabel, can you shout it? Isabel, can you clap it? Isabel, can you stomp it? Isabel, can you spell it? Y S A B E L, Isabel. Now, Isabel spells her name with a Y, and this is yogurt because. Y starts with, yogurt starts with Y. That's why that picture is there for her. Let's see who else is on our list. I'm glad your kids are loving it, Taylor. Montserrat is in the house, and guess what, Montserrat? Can you see what I'm doing here? Montserrat has a very long name, and I didn't get to pick, put the picture of the moon. <laughs> That looks more like a banana, but that's okay. There, there's the moon. I couldn't fit the picture of the moon on your cart, so I had to draw it. Okay, ready? Clap, tap, clap, tap, clap, tap. Ready? Clap, tap. Hickety, pickety, bumblebee, won't you say your name from, for me? <gasps> Whose name is that? Penelope. Can you say it with her? Penelope. Let's whisper it. Penelope. Let's shout it. Penelope. Can you clap it? Penelope. Can you stomp it? Penelope. Can you spell it? 
P E N E L O P E. Penelope. And she has a pencil because pencil starts with the same letter that Penelope's name starts with. It's a P. Boys and girls, are you enjoying this song? Do you like Hickety Pickety Bumblebee? Do you know that you can play it at home with your family too? And parents, you don't even need the name cards to do this. I added the name cards for an extra literacy element, and this is something I would do in the classroom. But this activity is perfectly fine to do. Um, just skip the spell it part. So it would look like this. Hickety pickety bumblebee, whoops. Hickety pickety bumblebee, won't you say your name for me? Can you whisper it? Sophie, can you shout it? Sophie, well, I would shout louder than that, but clap it, Sophie. Can you stomp it? Sophie, it's all about listening. It doesn't have to have the visual of the name if your child's not ready for it because so much is learned just through listening. They're getting that rhyme. We've talked about it before, right? We've talked about the benefits of all of these sing-along at, at home types of activities. It's a rhyming and listening game. Those are very important skills children will need to become successful future readers. We're practicing their oral language skills, right? All children need to have well-developed oral language skills. That means speaking, right? Speaking and listening are part of that. And they have to have well-developed oral language. It's directly related to reading success later. And then of course, we're engaging their eyes, their ears, their hands, and their feet. And when we do that, there's not much left to misbehave. So that's why this activity is so important. Um, a few of you I saw, here's Emma's name, for example. Um, these are for teachers who are watching. Parents, there's no need. This is designed for an entire class of children, so there's no need to purchase these. You can write your child's name on the back of a junk mail envelope. Um, but uh, for teachers, this is part of our uh, editable name card bundle that creates the icons for you. It's all like an editable instant document that you can make these with different colored borders and so forth. Um, and so you can see how when I used their name card, we were getting lots of alphabet practice, name recognition, all kinds of wonderful skills. Let's see if there if we should do another one okay <laughs> let me turn it around and i'm going to check my comments look and see if you find any names that you know <laughs> wonderful hey sita that's a good question i understand now that um, some school districts don't allow you to share facebook links and so um, I'm going to ask Tom if he can download these and put them onto YouTube. So I have I've come to that realization now. So that's a good suggestion. Thank you, Sita. Um, Cade has joined us now. Thank you for printing their names out. Yay, Cade! There we go. Yes. Lexi loves her name tag. Lexi starts with the L, the same as in the letter uh, that starts with leaf. And Montserrat, Montserrat's been in our class from the very beginning, right? Montserrat and Maite, 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 they live in the same house, yes. Um, yes, and Saxon's name, we did Saxon's name. Sophie, we did Sophie's name. Um, Jacqueline said she loved the stomping for the syllables. Yes, yeah, syllables are fantastic and it's fun. Children have no idea that they are learning. Derek was excited to have his name called out. Yay! Oh, sorry, Derek's there. <laughs> I'm looking out of the corner of my eye. See, they both have a duck. That's right, Derek and Denzel both have a duck because they both start with D. That was a teachable moment for sure. <laughs> All right. Okay, let's see, what's, oh, there's Siobhan, hi Siobhan, let's do Siobhan's name because I need one just for you and we didn't do it yet. Okay, let's do Siobhan's name. Are you ready? 
Hickety pickety bumblebee, won't you say your name for me? This is Shivang, Shivang. Everyone say it, Shivang. Ready? Can you whisper it? Shivang. Can you shout it? Shivang. Can you clap it? Shivang. Can you stomp it? Shivang. Can you spell it? S H I V A N G. Shivang. And the sun and Shivang's name both start with the letter S. S for sun. I hope I said your name correctly. If not, don't don't feel um, don't feel shy about letting me know if I didn't say it correctly. Um, yay! Oh, we have lots of new names to add for tomorrow. If I use names tomorrow, <laughs> wonderful. Okay, Michaela's here. Didn't I make one? I thought I made one for Michaela. Oh goodness, it's not here. I might have dropped it on the way upstairs. Okay. <laughs> The added name tag made it so special and the boys felt like they're actually in class. There's Ziva. Now Ziva, I don't know if I mentioned this to you, but I had to use um, the images I had for Z, I didn't like. One of them was a Zeppelin, which nobody knows what that is anymore. So I made a picture of a zipper for you. Ziva and zipper both start with the same sound, Z, and that's the letter Z, Ziva. I noticed that we had a, did you guys notice this too? We had a lot of students who only had two syllables in their name. I thought that was amazing. Tomorrow, if I do names tomorrow, not all of my songs have names, but the next time I do names, I will try to find some names that have more than two syllables because two syllables is wonderful. It's the, it's the easiest one for children to learn um, as they clap and tap. Um, but then we can, if we have ones with longer or with more syllables, then it becomes even more educational. Um, so yeah, that's our song for today. Hickety pickety bumblebee. If you need the words for now, you can Google them and they will come right up. Hickety pickety bumblebee. It's a classic song that teachers have been singing with their children for years and years, many, many, many years. I don't know how many, but since I was in... Um, kindergarten so and probably long before that as well so uh, it is a very classic song that is super educational it's like a super fruit right <laughs> or a super veggie full of nutrients and rich things for your kids for their to develop their learning so um, I wanted to mention to you teachers if you wanted to share this video with your students please go ahead and do that and I am aware now that a lot of school districts don't allow their teachers to share links to these YouTube videos so we will ask Tom to put them on uh, not, not allowed to share links to Facebook videos we will put them on YouTube in order for you to be able to do that um, so thank you for bringing that to my attention I appreciate it um, and parents if you are tuning in and you know of any other uh, parents who are at home with young children, ages three to five, who could benefit from sing-along, don't be shy. Tag them in the comments below. And don't forget to follow the page so you'll be notified whenever we go live. And that way you won't miss a broadcast, right? So until next time, I'm Vanessa Levin from Pre-K Pages, and I want you to have fun singing along with your children. Bye!